Um, it's going to be my first ever video that I'm going to be posting to my new channel called This Old Gym. Kind of like This Old House, if you guys remember, but uh, anybody that watches uh, <clears throat> home improvement shows and stuff like that but um, might know what I'm talking about, but it's This Old Gym, spelled O-L-D-E. Um, same basic concept. I'm going to be talking about um, things like that have helped me over the years, uh, workout techniques, things that have improved my um, my regiment and stuff like that. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna kind of jump right into things here today. Um, I'm gonna talk about bicep, the bicep, right? The ever elusive bicep. So it's what everybody wants. Everybody wants to have a big bicep. You watch the Mr. Olympia and stuff like that. They're always flexing their arms, right? So um, I'm gonna kind of jump right into things. So um, the bicep is worked out pretty much anytime you're doing a back workout indirectly. Um, pull downs, you're gonna hit it. Um, chin ups. Um, pull-ups obviously rows you're gonna hit that muscle indirectly but with that workout said or those workouts are only going to kind of focus on your volume um, if you want to get that peak that kind of pops back down um, you have to focus on like stuff like flexing workouts like really um, concentration so uh, my favorite one is concentration girls um, it's been my favorite since I was a kid um, basically you just take a dumbbell <clears throat> And you're going to focus on the contraction, not so much the weight of the dumbbell um, or firing through it. It's going to be nice and slow. I always did three seconds to get up and then hold for three seconds and three seconds down. It's kind of like a tempo set. You just kind of do that eight to ten reps of that, really squeezing at the top as much as you can. So you can see. This is only a 25 pound weight, but you're really just gonna focus on the contraction. And like I said, you're gonna do that eight to 10 reps with each arm indirectly. The best way to do it is either over a, one of those benches or just inside your leg like that. Um, like I said, once again, um, if you can't feel the contraction, use your finger, touch it, touch the bicep while it's flexing. That'll help you with that mind to muscle um, connection. That's some guys talk about. So uh, once again, eight to 10 reps, just really focusing on three seconds up, squeeze for three seconds, three seconds down. Um, another great workout um, is uh, drag curls with the dumb with the barbell. So, show you that real quick. Just take a barbell with whatever weight, kind of go just outside shoulder width apart, and you're going to kind of just drag up your stomach and chest. Same thing, focus. It's like a giant concentration. If you notice, your elbows are going to go back when you're going up. This is going to really focus on that peak that you want. You're going to feel it when you squeeze at the top. It's definitely good. <clears throat> so then I would do 8 to 12 of these. Kind of going up three sets of that. And that's it. Those are my two favorite workouts uh, for focusing on that, that peak on your bicep. So once again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget, stay strong, but stay humble, and mahalo.